Hello, welcome to um, an advanced training brought to you by Flight Attendant Career Connection. The reason I call this training advanced is because these are not the regular novice video interview tips. These are for people who have done the video interview, who are at next level video looking for some advice. So I'm Abby Unger, the owner and founder of Flight Attendant Career Connection, which is a company that offers coaching, encouragement, resources, and community to aspiring flight attendants. Um, I'm excited to share these tips with you. That's not the right word. I'm looking forward to sharing these tips with you because I feel like that there is a need for them. Um, I wish there wasn't a need for them because I wish everyone was able to just breeze on past the video interview, onto their face-to-face, -face, onto training, onto their career, onto their dream job, but that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case all the time. So there is a need for um, video interview tips that are next level. So I've got a couple tips. The, the inspiration for this video is yesterday I saw in the Flight Attendant Career Connection Facebook group a post and it said, I'm really struggling with the video interview. I bought the workbook, the Flight Attendant Career Connection workbook. I bought Abby's star format training. I've done them all. I feel like I'm prepared. I go to do the video interview. All the information falls out of my brain. I can't speak complete sentences anymore. And I'm just really struggling. So, you know, that shows me that she has put in the time. She has put in the effort. She is on the right track. She has invested money. She's invested time, she's done the trainings, she's learned about the star format. She's not just going into this like, oh, let me just see what happens. She's committed, she's a student of the interview process and she's still not being successful. So there's a little bit of a disconnect. And so, you know, a lot of times when people ask in the Facebook group, um, tips for the video interview, I have videos on YouTube in the group there's other people's videos. There's videos to help you like, oh, I don't know what to expect. I just got my first video interview invitation. There are resources for that. And that's normally what I'm answering. I'm saying, watch this video that I made. But this, she was not asking that question. She knows how to do her lighting. She knows what to wear. She knows to research the brand of the airline that she's interviewing with. She knows to hop on Glassdoor and get an idea for the questions. She knows to make sure her background is looking good. She knows to keep her cats and her children and her husband out of the background when she's doing her video interview. She knows all these things, She, but she's still not being successful. So I thought, let me give some next level tips. Let's let's take this to the next level. Um, so I've got a couple tips here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tips um, for people who are either not being successful in the video interview or want to take their video interview um, training and preparation to the next level. First, <clears throat> make sure you halt before you do your video interview. We love hate video interviews but one of the fantastic things about a video interview is you can do them on your own time so a lot of times uh, so that means at night that means during the day that means on vacation that means at home that means at the library that means at a co-working space that means um, at the you know in a private room of the community center like whatever wherever you need to do it you can do your video interview in a hotel room. You don't have to go to a place to do the video interview. That is a gift. But when we get the video interview, sometimes we feel this pressure that I need to do it ASAP. And I see the question in the Facebook group. I just got my video interview. Should I do it ASAP or should I wait? Okay, so the question, this, this tip is to halt. Don't do your video interview until you halt, which, and check for if you, halt is an acronym, for if you are hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. So this advice goes for the assessment too. You might have heard me talk about this. Do not do your video interview if you are hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. You get home working a late shift, you're super jazzed about the video interview, you, I mean, you're super jazzed, now you've got your video interview, but you're exhausted. And the thought of taking a shower, putting on your makeup, getting on your, your suit makes you tired. But then you have this other little voice in the back of your head that says, you've got to do it right away. You've got to do it right away. you got to do it right away. Let me tell you, a well-executed video interview 
will open a door that a fast video interview will shut, okay? So if you are feeling hungry, angry, lonely, tired, not yourself, not your best, not living your best life at that moment, fix what it is, take a nap, eat a sandwich, um, do some meditation, <laughs> call a friend, do something to make yourself feel better so that you feel yourself so that you can perform the video interview. If you are swamped at work and it takes you three days to do your video interview and you have to wait until Saturday afternoon and now it's been three days and you are feeling great and it's nice and life's good and you're like, yes, and you nail your video interview, that is better than having done a poor job on day one. Okay, so make sure that you're not putting unnecessary pressure on yourself. Now, if they give you a deadline, you need to meet the deadline. A lot of video interviews don't have deadlines. The other ones are three, five days or so. So you still don't have to do them within three hours of receiving them, okay? So that's the first thing. Make sure you're halt so that you're feeling yourself. The next one is the confidence class. So this is not just a big old commercial for the confidence class, but the confidence class is a training that I taught. It is for aspiring flight attendants because confidence is the foundation of leadership. And if you cannot feel confident during your interview, your video interview, your interview, and then have the skills to remain confident in what you know and your authority when you're on the airplane, you will not be a successful flight attendant. Okay, confidence is a huge key. So the confidence class, um, it's $20. It's an hour and a half training. It comes with worksheets. It comes with really practical tips on, not tips, it's a training, it's a class. So this is like a tip video. That is a class where we really learn dive deep. So I would encourage you if you're struggling with the interview, with the assessment, with the video interview, get the confidence class and um, listen to it before you, right before you do your video interview if you can and give yourself another pep talk, talk and another build up. So the confidence class is my second tip. Number three is actually from the confidence class. One of my favorite tools that I teach about is power posing. So the third tip is power posing. Um, some people, like if you saw, what's that girl, Amy Schumann or Schumacher or whatever, she was making fun of it in one of her movies. Um, but power posing is very, is really powerful. There's a TED, TEDx, TEDx talk. I get so excited. There's a TEDx talk about it, about how, um, using body, it's basically how we can read other people's body language. Well, we can actually read our own body language. So when you power pose, which means like kind of like stand like Superman or Superwoman, or you make yourself really big to scare away the bad animals, um, our body chemistry changes and your testosterone, which makes you brave, goes up and your cortisol, which makes, which is your stress management hormone goes down. So you will actually feel it will change your body's chemistry so you can perform better because testosterone makes you brave, it makes you strong, it makes you courageous. And so you can actually change your body chemistry by power posing. So you can Google it, you can go on YouTube, you can just stand in the corner. Don't do it during the video interview. You do this before the video interview. You can just stand up and put your hands on your hips. I actually got a message yesterday from someone that says, I did it. And the power posing really worked. <laughs> so she'd gotten the offer and she had done, and she was just really grateful that she had that tool. Okay, so that's number three. Number four, record yourself and then watch the video back. Okay, so if you are struggling, record yourself and then watch the video back. Make yourself feel cringy while you're watching it so that you start to get normal. Because what, things that make us cringe or things that make us uncomfortable, as we do them more, they become less cringeworthy, right? So record yourself just answering questions if you want, and then watch them back. See how you're sitting. See how, you know, like, oh, that was good. Oh, that, that light looks good. Oh, that's, that looks good. Oh, that was a great thing that I said. Let me jot that down. That was brilliant. Watch it back. Or say, you know, like, or even if you're going, wow, I look really weird. Maybe figure out a way to change the camera angle, something like that. 
record yourself. Another idea is you could go live on your personal Facebook page to all your friends and family out there or get on Instagram, do a little Insta story. Just get used to being in front of video. Even if you're not answering interview questions on your Facebook lives, on your personal page or on your Instagram, just talking will help you feel more comfortable with the video interview, the video aspect of the video interview, okay? Um, number one, two, three, four. Number five, make your comfort zone bigger, okay? Make your comfort zone bigger. When you, this, I learned this from Kelsey Humphreys, which some of y'all know, motivational comedian, I share stuff. She taught me <laughs> that your comfort zone is when you go outside your comfort zone when you stretch yourself outside of your comfort zone which is right the comfort zone it's like my comfort zone is where i feel comfortable where i'm not anxious where i'm not nervous where i'm not scared if i go outside of that and do something that's a little bit outside makes me anxious makes me nervous makes me scared i have now grown my comfort zone okay if i never left my house or talked to a person i would only be comfortable this big if i talk to people if i do video if i go outside my comfort zone if i start up a conversation with a stranger in starbucks and i'm uncomfortable now i have expanded my comfort zone make your comfort zone bigger and more things will be inside your comfort zone okay so talk more about being a flight attendant even if it makes you uncomfortable an airplane flying overhead make sure you know again those Facebook lives on your personal page those Instagram stories Instagram um, IGTV stuff that all expands your comfort zone okay um, number one two th I should have numbered these so I didn't have to I think we're on number six um, number six coaching if you would like some personalized feedback from me I do offer interview coaching. They're hour-long sessions, we get together. Um, one of the great things about coaching is almost every time I meet with a client, they say to me, oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And I say, good, because if you feel nervous while we're talking, then we are really simulating an interview. So we talk about your background, we talk about your, your goals, we talk about your interviews up until that point or where you are in the process, who you're waiting to hear from, and then you get to practice answering interview questions. I ask you interview questions, you answer them back as if you were in the interview, none of this. Well, I probably would say something like, no. You answer them as if I'm a recruiter, and then I give you feedback, and it pra it's practice as well as critique that's kind and um, you will have a path to yes this is the direction I should go no that was going in the wrong direction I'm going to turn it back this way um, so interview coaching may be your next step to feeling to passing the video interview um, and then number seven number seven this is the last one give yourself a break give yourself a break take a breath I don't mean like take a break I mean give yourself a break what would you say to a friend, to someone that you loved, to your son, to your daughter, to your mom, to your dad, to someone that you liked, to a stranger? Okay, what would you say to a freaking stranger who said, I don't know if I can do it. I haven't been able to do it yet. Maybe I should quit. What would you say to a stranger, much less someone that you love? You would say, you can do it. What did you do? What last time do you think you could change and make better? Is there any resources out there? Um, you'll get it every time you get better. You just got to put in the reps. You just got to, every time you do a rep, you get stronger. Every time you do a video interview, you learn something new. Six months, let me go ahead and apply with some other airlines so that you can get some more interviews under your belt so that when Delta opens up again and, and you've got your, you meet your six month, nine month, 12 month, whatever it is. You can interview with them again. It will happen. This is not the end of the road. You can do it. You deserve to be a flight attendant. They don't know what they're missing. What would you tell someone? Tell yourself that. I'm preaching a little bit here. Tell yourself that. Give yourself some grace. Uh, uh, acknowledge what you've accomplished so that you can continue to grow and get better. Yes, you were not successful in the video interview. Something needs to change. Something didn't work, but that doesn't have anything to do with you, your ability to be a flight attendant, or whether or not you should continue to try. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of encouragement, because that's my seventh tip, seventh tip, is just to give yourself a break, give yourself some grace, look at it 
like you love yourself <laughs> or that you're a stranger and encourage yourself and just really practically look at it and say, I really still want to be a flight attendant. So as much as these video interviews stink, I'm going to keep trying and I'm going to keep going for it. So hopefully you found those tips helpful. Um, if you've got any other tips, you can drop them in the comments. And um, if you, um, I'll also link in the comments or in the description, um, a more basic video interview, you know, lighting, background, dress, stuff like that, in case you're at that place. But thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope you found these helpful. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.